Look at you. We'll set you right here. There he goes. Climb, buddy, climb. Welcome back to another video. Now, we are actually not in my reptile room. Stop. We are not, and we have quite the audience here of a bunch of Frenchies. Look at all these guys. As you can see, it is coming along quite nicely. This is probably one or two videos ago. We built the background on this enclosure. This is an 18 by 36 by 36 or 36 by 18 by 36 enclosure. And we're actually gonna be housing mossy leaf shell geckos in this enclosure. That's a Europlatus psychorae, I believe is their, their Latin name. So once we get this enclosure all set up with the plants, that'll be going over here, the terrestrial plants, and everything else that's going in this enclosure, I will kind of show you how we do that and how we go along this process. We've got quite the working space, lots of material, lots of products that are gonna be going into this enclosure. The first step that we've been kind of working on is actually getting the shelf, then we've been screwing the branches in, getting all the branches secure, that way the leaf tail geckos have somewhere vertical to climb. And along with that, we've got a nice big UVB hood on the enclosure. That way the geckos can absorb their UVB as necessary. But this substrate here should work great for the bottom of this enclosure. So that is step number one to kind of set this thing up. We're gonna go ahead and add the bedding. From there, we will add the rest. Here we go. Now that we've gotten our bedding in the enclosure, just like so. We're gonna go ahead and start adding our plants throughout the planters, and of course the terrestrial plants across the bottom here, and really make this enclosure come together. But yeah, we've got all sorts of different plants here. We've got some bromeliads and a whole bunch of different things. We even have a, a pineapple plant over here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw all this in and see what we wanna use and what we don't wanna use. We're gonna add this guy right over here, something like that. We've also got this one here. We've also added the bromeliads in the back on the left-hand side here. So now this area is planted, this side's planted. We're gonna add these and basically finish the enclosure up. Now what we're gonna do is take our clumps of moss here and patch it throughout the enclosure. For example, over here should look pretty good. I'm just gonna kinda tuck it in, that way it's nice and secure, just like so. And voila, now we have some moss on the background. We're also gonna do that on the terrestrial side here to add more detail throughout the whole enclosure. So far though, this thing looks, it looks fantastic. I think this enclosure is just about complete. We're gonna go ahead and give, give everything a really good heavy misting. Um, that way the enclosure sparkles and shines, and that way the plants have fresh water, being that they've just been added to a whole new area. But wow, from what I can see here, it looks pretty good. But let's go ahead and spray it down real fast and then I will show y'all the finished product. And look, we have a tortoise. Look He's eating. Look at him. Egyptians. The Egyptian tortoise. We have one here eating. And look, those guys are eating as well. Alrighty y'all, it is time to reveal the enclosure. And boom, there it is in its complete destiny. Finally finished. The background is done. The plants are added in. We also gave it a good quick water, but wow, this thing looks absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. Without further ado, I guess let's, uh, let's roll to some B-roll. It turns out we're also going to add the inhabitants right now, which is going to be fantastic for them. They should love it. It is five, it is five. Oh my goodness, look at those guys. Wow, those are insane. Oh, it's a two to three. Wow, look at, look at all those beautiful geckos. We're gonna go ahead and start adding all these mossy leaf tail geckos to their new exhibit or enclosure, whatever you wanna call it. 
This one right here is my absolute favorite. Look at the patterns. All right, you get to go first. Go to your home, buddy. Go, go free. Take a look. There he goes. And he's off. He's off. He's on the other side of the log here. Flighty, aren't you? Where do you wanna go? You wanna go this way? Go ahead, buddy. There he goes. Wow. What a beautiful group of geckos, to say the least. So we've got those two in, three more to go. And look at the colors on these fellows. Wow. All right, let's grab this guy up real quick. Let's see, we'll set you right on this log. There he goes, off into his new home. Grab another one. Look at you. We'll set you right here. There he goes. Climb, buddy, climb. And the final one, this one's probably, I would say this is probably the largest fellow. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set him right, right there. Go, there he goes. Off into his home. There go all of the leaf tail geckos. This one's really cool, man. This is definitely one of the, the coolest geckos I've seen. And this pattern is insane. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of our way here. And now, all five of these geckos have been added into their new home, off to explore and live their best lives. We're gonna go ahead and shut up the enclosure here. Now it is nice and secure. The geckos are in their home. We're gonna go ahead and let them do their thing, probably not disturb them too much, that way they can get settled in to their new enclosure. But guys, let me know what you think of this enclosure down in the comments below. Is there anything we should do, add, change, or adjust? Once again, just let me know below. And hey, that is it for today's video. But I did want to say a huge thank you to Michael at Urban Albino. He is the one, let me see if I get to focus. He is the one that helped put it all together. And um, ultimately, this setup was basically funded by you. It was funded by Michael here. Um, but it's done. Thank you for allowing me to film the video of building this insane leaf tail gecko enclosure. Do you have any words before we head out? I on? appreciate all your hard work and dedication. You're doing it exactly the way I envisioned it to be done. And I think you did an amazing job. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I think these geckos will enjoy it. And I think that's what's most important. Without further ado, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And hey, we will see y'all in the next one. Peace!